Hey, what's up guys? It's your probably not, maybe, your favorite YouTuber here. Seven likes on a Finding Dory review. Okay. Hey, what's up guys? It's your probably not, maybe your favorite YouTuber here, Carol744, and so I didn't expect a review on just a random Finding Dory movie to get seven likes, because normally, like, lately, my videos have been getting, like, two likes, three likes, four likes, but, like, it, it's like, it's like, it's like, uh, not that many have, like, more than six. So, if I could get, like, seven likes off of a Finding Dory review, I decided that maybe I could just, like, review just a random movie every now and then. And, um, so, my grandma took me to that Finding Dory one, and then soon after that, she took me over to, like, another one so I could watch a movie called The Secret Life of Pets. Later, I got over to my dad's house, and it turned out that uh, my step-siblings were dying to see that movie. And I told them to not watch it without me, because I honestly really did want to see it again. I quite, I quite enjoyed the movie, and I, I see why they were eager to see it. I, like, I saw, like, a commercial of it, but I never thought that I was going to actually see it. But, um, I'll, I'll get the, to the review in a second. But, uh, just, if you guys are watching this video, you have to wait, okay? Do not go like what you did on that Doctor Who Heaven Sent episode. No, you have to wait, okay? Actually wait. So, what I, like, I don't, I, like, I wouldn't really want to spoil much of it. It's just, it's basically a movie that, uh, basically shows you what pets could possibly be doing when you're not watching. Like, uh... Probably the most funniest scene was a dog getting a belly rub by, like, turning on, like, a mixer, one of those, uh, spinny things, and having it, like, rub his belly. So, uh, that was probably one of the most funniest things of the movie. But, um, it also shows, like, pets from, like, their point of view. How, like, um, the poor cats have, have, like, food right there that they know that they can't eat or they're getting in trouble and how cat videos are put on YouTube and stuff like that. There, um, like, uh, like, um, a year ago, my cat Smudge would always, uh, where is Smudge anyway? Is he down here? Yeah, I see, I'm just gonna go get him, hang on. Say hi to the camera, Smudgy. Hello. Alright, so, um, so, so, uh, a year ago, he would always go on top of the toaster in the kitchen, and I, and uh, my mom found that annoying. However, and I always had to take him off. And then eventually, um, eventually, um, my mom was okay with him being on the toaster. Uh, but then, like, whenever I walk into the kitchen and I see Smudge on the toaster, I'm going to just leave him there. But he's so used to me seeing him on the toaster, walking over to him and bringing him down, that as soon as he sees me see him on the toaster, he immediately gets down by himself because he doesn't like being picked up. So, um, yeah. But, um, okay, so I'm gonna, like, basically, basically, like, the first part of the movie is just that. And then it's basically these pets, like, uh, being, like, taken by an animal shelter and and then they, uh, all these pets go on an adventure to find, it, it's, a, it, it's a kid's movie, you know. But, um, so, now I'm gonna assume that you've already seen this movie, cause, uh, I'm just gonna be reviewing it, saying my opinions on some of the scenes. So, one thing that, I don't know why, I, but I seem to have, like, some sort of fear of, like, giant birds for some reason. Um, I don't know, maybe it formed when I saw that movie, The Birds. I saw it when I was very little, and I guess I've just been scared of birds ever since. I don't know, it's just, I don't really like just feathers for some reason. Like, but like when I was a kid, I'd always imagine if, if all of a sudden, all at once, just everything turned into feathers, and that would be creepy enough. But then I realized, like, if everything turned into feathers, that would mean that the air particles would become feathers, and there would just be literally feathers filling up my entire view, and it's just... Just makes me just this makes me like cringe even thinking about it now. But um, so do you remember the hawk on the roof and when when he there was a scene where when we were first meeting him where he went up and he was about to like just like open up his wings or something. I have no idea what happened in that scene because I so as soon as I saw him going like this and about to open up his wings, I just covered my eyes because I didn't want to see what was gonna be laid before me. But um. Yeah, just, just, I don't know. I just have a real beer of birds for some reason. And, like, 
I don't really have a phobia for spiders. I mean, like, I mean, like, I'm never scared of a tiny little spider. My older sister is always chilling in the basement, and then she like screams her head off as if she's being like robbed or something. But in reality, it's just like a spider like this big just crawling across our floor. I have no fears of those spiders. I mean, like, if a giant big like tarantula just appears in my living room, like. Even then, I'm not sure if I'd be that scared. I'm, but I have absolutely zero fear of snakes. I am never scared of snakes. If a huge boa constructor appeared right now, I'd be confused, but I wouldn't be like absolutely scared. There was a scene where like a, the snakes were like coming at the screen when these pets were about to like meet these stray, these uh, stray animals. Sorry, I can't remember anyone's name. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was like, I was like, when I was watching the movie, I was thinking to myself, I'm only going to remember these two main characters' names. Now I remember nothing. I don't remember anyone's names. But uh, when uh, these two dogs were about to meet the strays, there were these snakes that came at the screen and stuff like that, and I guess that was supposed to creep you out. It didn't creep me out at all. Uh, I just have zero fear of snakes. Just snakes do not scare me at all. I always found it funny how uh, the bunny was uh, uh, talking about his goose friend, I think. If I'm wrong, that's a goose, and please punch me in the face multiple times. I think it was a goose and he died, and uh, the bunny was like patting his heart and saying, rest in peace. I found that kind of funny. One thing that everyone will always be, something that like I and all kids will always find creepy is the part where the vibe, blood, blutter, vibe, I can't remember, the, the viper, whatever, needed to like leave them blood mark on the dogs in order to officially become part of their gang, which they didn't want. Um, and just stuff like that just really creeps me out. Anything that is permanent freaks me out. I like, 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 I hate change, I'll say that. I'm okay if, like, you're adding something in, but if you're, like, taking away stuff, I hate it. But, like, like, anything that is permanent, like, you can't go back to it ever, is kind of scary to me. Like, like I was always scared of permanent markers. I never, and probably never will, will get a tattoo because as because as far as I'm concerned, tattoos are permanent or something, and you can't get them off. Or you can, but it'll leave some sort of mark or something. I'm never getting a tattoo. But like, no matter what it is, no matter what I'm being offered, if if a magical genie comes up, especially genies, because I don't trust genies. You've seen the fairy tales, but like. If I'm offered anything, if I'm heard, once I choose it, there's no going back, I'm instantly going to assume that something might go wrong. If there is no going back, then then I just won't take it. Mainly because if they're going to mention that there's no going back, then there's going to be something bad. If it's going to be nothing but paradise, and you're never going to want to go back anyway, why would you even mention that there's no going back if they're not going to want to go back? The only reason why you would ever want to mention, once you promise this, there is no going back, is if the main thing is that it's going to hurt them in some reason. I just hate anything that is permanent. It's just, it freaks me out. What happened to um, the uh, the brown hairy dog, Duke was I think his name? Um, his like, um, spoiler alert, but this like whole thing is technically some minor spoilers. This is one of the big spoilers. Um, his uh, owner, he uh, he finds his owner again, but finds out that he actually died a while back. But like, I saw that coming a mile away. Uh, like 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 you'd have to be like a very little kid who has like only seen like two movies in his life to have not seen that coming. Like it's a classic. It's classic. You you're away from your owner for a long time. You come back. He, he's either the owner's either not gonna recognize him or he's gonna be dead. Just something heartbreaking is gonna happen. But honestly, like finding that the owner is dead is a lot better than the owner like opening up the door and shooing him away or something, like not recognizing him or not wanting him again or stuff like that, that would have been pretty heartbroken. The, the thing that I probably found most weird was um, the love story between the poodle, I think, and the, I think it was a poodle, I don't know, I'm not good with dog breeds. The, the, um, the, uh, the love story with the poodle guy and the other dog, um, yeah, I'm not really sure if it was needed. I mean, like everything, I guess, has to have a love story for the, for for the, lovey guys out there and stuff like that. Um, and I'm kind of wondering what's gonna happen because I heard that there's gonna be a sequel, or something. Hey, 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 let me just look it up. Okay, I'm on the Wikipedia page, 
Um, here it is, sequel. A sequel with director blah blah, producers blah blah, and blah blah, and writer blah blah. Returning is scheduled to be released on July 13th, 2018. So yeah, there's apparently gonna be a sequel then. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. You know, like, it's always like, it's always like sad. You can never win when you have a good movie. Like, if you're making a movie, there's no way that you can win. It's either going to be a bad movie and everyone's going to hate it, a.k.a. you lose. It's either going to be a great movie and people are going to want a sequel, and then you make a sequel, and then it's not good as the original, and then everyone hates it, and then a.k.a. you lose. It's like, it's like, it's like... Like, Superman 2 is the only movie that I ever saw in which I will say it was better than the original. Well, Back to the Future 2 as well. Back to the Future 2 and Superman 2 are the only ones that I will say it was better than the original. I know that there's a lot of people who's going to disagree, especially with Back to the Future 2. It's just, I, I really enjoy those movies. But the main reason why I enjoyed Superman 2 to Superman the movie is that Superman the movie wasn't even that good in my opinion. Like, nothing really happened. It introduced Superman and all that stuff. But then, but then the whole thing with Lex Luthor is just what happens in your average comic book. Like, like, like nothing really special happened in it. And, like, obviously, it's quite easy to make the sequel better than the original if the original isn't that good. But then the problem is, is that if you're going to make the original not that good on purpose, so that you can make a better sequel and possibly make a series and have it successful, then then no one's going to like the original, and then they're not going to be asking for a sequel, a.k.a. you lose. The only reason why Superman managed to get past that was because it's been a comic for, like, 50 years. 1930s. 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, and it was made in the late 1970s, so yeah, just about 50 years, 50 years of comic books, it was famous and all that, and I heard that, like, the sequel was actually being made as the original, but, like, like, the sequel was already confirmed at the same time as the original, so, so yeah, th th this is kind of getting off topic, I'm just not really sure what the sequel is gonna hold, but, like, like, I don't know, I mean, like, I mean, like, um, the, the main movie, like, it could actually happen, I guess. I mean, like, th we can argue back and forth about that all day. It's, it's just, it depends on the true intelligence of animals in real life. Do they actually do that stuff when we're around? You can set up security cameras and then leave the house and see, but it's possible that your pets could be smart enough to know what security cameras are and therefore not do anything on purpose. So, like, it all depends on what the true intelligence of the animals in real life. If they are really as intelligent as they are in the movie, then yes, that movie actually 100% could actually happen in real life. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess, I guess that's all that I really have to say about it. So, yeah, I'm filming this video, hopefully, the exact same day that's being uploaded. But, like, my plan is to go on a Superman marathon right now. I guess that's why I brought up Superman, but, uh... Like, uh, I'm gonna watch, I watched Superman the movie, and now I'm filming it, I'm gonna watch Superman 2, and then I'm gonna import the videos onto my laptop, Superman 3, I'm gonna edit it, and then Superman 4, I'm gonna upload it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna do that. So, um, yeah, it's not been that many times where it's been uploaded at the same time that it's been, it's been quite a while since I uploaded a video at the exact same day that I filmed it. Huh. Well, anyway, so, so this was my sequel to Finding Dory, it's not gonna get as many likes, is it? No. Okay, so, anyway, just... Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like so that I know that you enjoyed it. And if you didn't like it, then give it a dislike so that I know that you didn't enjoy it. And leave a comment down below on your full thoughts on this video. If you liked it, leave a comment saying that you liked it. Because it honestly just feels just so amazing when we get a positive comment or another like or a subscriber. We are not just saying that. Just to actually know that there are people out there who would who would actually enjoy our videos and look forward to the next one, that it just feels so awesome. But, um, yeah, and uh, if you didn't like it, then leave a comment down below saying why you didn't like it so that it can improve for next time. And if you're just going to dislike it and leave a comment saying, boo, you suck, then I'm just going to treat your dislike as a like. How am I going to know how to improve if you don't tell me? And don't forget to subscribe so that I know when my next video comes out. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Holy crap, you're never gonna believe this. Okay, I, I, ha I have a problem with the filming the videos when I sometimes, like, I'll get, like, a text 
I'll, I'll get like a text during the video, and then um, and then in the middle of the video you'll hear my phone go off, and I'm like, oh dang it, I'm gonna have to edit that out. I'll have to start the sentence over again. Where was I? Oh no, I can't remember. You're never gonna believe this. My phone went off on the exact instant I stopped recording. Like I'm not joking. I stopped recording, and it just went off then. Sorry, just wanted to say that. It literally just went 